Hi everyone, it's Priyanka and welcome to my video. In today's video, I will be creating a Sea Captain Lolita. I was inspired by this dress I found on Pinterest and the first thought I had was Sea Captain. I was I just thought of a girl who wants to explore travel the world on her ship and I really wish I had this ship looking back at it and I really regret it, but I'm getting ahead of myself. In today's video, I'll just be discussing the painting process for this piece and also discussing some art goals that I have for this coming year even though it's February and not January I'm kind of late but it's okay so at the beginning I just created the sketch beforehand off camera and I'm just I just like lightening light lightened it up with a kneaded eraser and now I'm just going to use a dip pen to line the art and I use a dip pen because I find lining my art really boring because it's basically you're just tracing the sketch and th that's not very exciting to me. So I feel like a dip pen is much more stressful because there's more chance of failure. So you have to think more and it just makes it more exciting. Uh, there could be something wrong with me. I don't know, but it's more exciting for me. So something... One of my art goals that I do have for this year is to plan beforehand or plan a little bit longer. So if you saw at the beginning of the video, I had a sketchbook and there was a one page spread and I thought that was enough for this piece, but it really wasn't because I only tested out one pose for this girl, which is the, po which is the pose you're seeing right now. And I thought... That pose is fine, but when I'm looking back at it, the pose seems kind of stiff and I really wish I had experimented with more poses. Like maybe the girl is sitting on the railing or she's sitting on a bench and I wish I had added other elements to the drawing such as a whale and maybe add a ship because she is a sea captain. So maybe a ship is just on a side, maybe just the, the, the front of the ship you, you only have to see. I just wish I planned better so I could add those elements because right now when I look back at it the drawing looks kind of boring to me and I believe I think if I have if I had added more elements it would have been less boring at least to me personally speaking of more planning drawing with waffles in a recent video where she was painting her sketchbook the cover of her sketchbook she mentioned that she was a lazy perfectionist and that is exactly me. I am a lazy perfectionist. Is there a lazy perfectionist help group? I hope there is. But she, I basically, I spend like five minutes on that sketchbook spread planning out this piece. And this piece definitely needed more than five minutes, maybe 15, 20, an hour. And I did not spend an hour on this piece. I did not spend more than an hour in that sketchbook. And if I had spent more time planning, I could have thought about the pose. And the pose would be better. I've already discussed the pose so many times. So you can clearly see, clearly hear that I'm very regretful of that pose I chose. At the, at the time, I was happy with the pose. So now I just took Prussian Blue from the Arteza gouache set. And... I'm just painting the vest. I was thinking the vest could be the vest and the cape. Is it a cape or, or an overcoat? Um, could be a lighter color than the actual coat itself. You know how they say with watercolors and uh, I guess with gouache too, if you keep, if th there's a point in the piece where it doesn't look great, but if you keep on working with it, it becomes better for me. That's true, and also the other side is true. If you keep on working the piece, it just gets worse. So I need to find a happy medium, which I hopefully will do sometime. So now I am painting the coat, this blue, which I will make darker later because it is kind of light. I wanted it to be more of a navy blue, navy blue. and you can see I'm getting, I made the coat a bit darker. Oh, here I see. I forgot to tape down the paper and because I forgot 
to tape down. I had did the did line art to the edges. I had to tape it in a way that I wasn't actually taping on the paper. So that's what I did. Something that I actually do really like about this drawing is the colors I chose for the character. I feel like the blues I chose, even though at the end they weren't exactly the colors, I do feel feel like they did complement each other very well. So if you saw in the sketchbook, she's her dress and her coat is blue. Her her dress is a lighter blue. You'll see me paint it later. And her hair is going to be a reddish color. And I chose red because I felt red would be a good complement and would make her stand out more, especially since this is an ocean piece. Also, I apologize if this voiceover sounds kind of weird and I stutter a bit and say ums and like a lot. Um, I'm not used to doing voiceovers, so I have to get used to it and I apologize if it's annoying or anything. I promise I will get better, hopefully in a few months. Hopefully a month, a few months, one month, two months, who knows? So I just have to practice a lot. Even when I talk to strangers or people I'm not very familiar with, I stutter a bit because I just get nervous. It's not actually, it's not even, it is nervousness and I, it's a problem that I have and I, and I try to fix it. I'm trying to improve and not stutter as much. You should, you should see me when I have to present something in front of a lot of people. I stutter so much and I also talk a lot. So at least I'm doing this voiceover by myself. No one's at home. I'm all by myself talking to myself. So something else that I want to improve in my art is showing, clearly showing where the shadows and the lights are. As you can clear, as you can see, you can't really see where the where the light source is. You can infer that the light source is coming from the sun, but that wouldn't necessarily be the only light source because light does reflect on different areas. So maybe there's a glass building in front of her and that, that would reflect on her and cause some highlights. And I just wish she wasn't as flat as she turned out to be. She There's not very much clear shadows and there would be it, would, it is kind of hard to show shadows on a dark piece a dark area such as the jacket and there would definitely be highlights on her and and i didn't show that and i didn't think about that when i was painting i was more concerned with the shadows also you if you notice that i did forget to paint one of her boobs i do paint it later so don't worry i don't forget i'm painting it right now um, the one place I did feel like I did the shadows justice is her dress, which I will be painting soon, like right now. So, the definitely the bottom of the dress where there's more ruffles, I did put a lot of shadows because there because the fabric is laying on top of each other. And when I look back at this dress, it makes me so happy because I love how I how the shadows just are. I'm sp my speaking is getting worse and worse, as you can tell. It just looks so pretty, at least to me. And I'm really happy with that. That's probably the best shadows I've done, which is saying a lot. I did do a monochromatic painting once in December, probably, to practice doing shadows and lights. And I feel like it definitely helped a bit, but I did mess up in some instances. And there was one area in the piece that I did do the shadows really well. But then there was another area of the piece where I didn't do the shadows very well. I definitely want to practice doing monochromatic paintings more because it makes you think about where the shadows and lights are. You're only working with one color. So you, it's, you, you're, you, that's, that's where you're mostly concentrating your energy on one color and not just on the multiple colors, if that makes sense. Probably does not make sense. Like the whole of this voiceover. But, yes. And if you can tell, the skin color is a bit pinkish, orangey. And I do fix that later. I do make it lighter. It. I don't know what I was thinking when I was painting this. 
I know what I was thinking. I was thinking it looked kind of orangish and pinkish, but I just kept going with it because I just accepted the fact. And I was adding white while I was doing it, but I do fix it later. I do layer it. Um, another art goal that I have, which is the last art goal, is making my art more interesting. And what I mean by that, since it is kind of broad, is adding some abstractness to my work. I've seen other artists on Instagram where they add strange colors, odd colors to their palette. Such as when they're doing skin, they might add some purple to the skin randomly just to add some uniqueness, some interest to the piece and make it look more interesting. Colors you normally wouldn't associate with the skin because you would associate pink, red, orange, and you just see blue randomly there. Such as like when you use purple for a shadow and yellow for a highlight, it just makes the piece look more interesting. And I want to add that to the piece, such as when I'm doing the ocean right now. I wish I didn't just stick to blue. I wish I had added some pink, just to make it more interesting or add some yellows just to add some interest to the piece i just said that twice i apologize and it, it it would make the piece look less flat and more lively and here i am making a mistake i am adding blush and messing up on adding blush i really like when other artists add blush to their characters because it just adds a, le a certain level of cuteness, a very high level of cuteness, and I want to do that to my characters, but I'm not very good at it yet. And as you can see, I'm trying to fix it, but I'll go back later and add more blush, and then I'll regret that decision, and then I'll try to fix it again. This is me trying to add strange colors by adding a certain amount of yellow to the land. And now I, these other trees getting covered up. So just to summarize my art goals, let's go back to the main part of this video. I want to plan better. And when I do plan better, my other, my other two art goals can, I can achieve my other two art goals easier. Um, the second art goal is to concentrate on shadows and light. Uh, Figuring out where those shadows and lights would be to make the piece more interesting, because that can also make a piece more interesting. Using, figuring out where the shadows and where the lights are. My third art goal is to make the piece more alive by adding some abstractness, some colors that you wouldn't normally think of when you paint a boardwalk. Maybe I could have added some red. Well, you, 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 there, there might be red on a boardwalk, but maybe add some yellows, some blues. There, there's enough blue in this piece, but I'm just saying. And I think that would have made the piece much more interesting and less flat. My favorite part of this piece is probably... It would probably be the dress. The dress is probably the favorite part, because I feel like that dress came out really well. N not the coat, just the dress. <laughs> and it, I, I like how the dress came out. It's, I think it looks pretty and I don't know. When I look back at it, I, I think the dress I worked the hardest on. Not necessarily the hardest, but I feel like I thought about it more. So you can see when you think about stuff more, when you plan better, it y y your outcome turns out much better. And that is the end of my the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and didn't find it boring. And thank you for putting up with my voiceover and my annoying voice. I hope everyone has a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. And bye!